Hi there, Joe Crawford, chatbot copywriter and dialogue designer here. Today, I'm going to be taking you through the attribute drop-down list for Facebook Messenger and explaining how each one works. So let's get right into it. For this, we're going to use Geobot 2.0. So first, we'll select that. Now, from our dialogue build box, see over here we have this button, Attributes. Now, these allow you to pull information from a Facebook Messenger user's profile and actually use that in the conversation. Now, there are two main reasons why this is valuable. First of all is personalization. The more you can tailor your chatbot to your actual customer down to that individual level, the better experience that's going to provide them. Plus, it's nice to be spoken to in a personal fashion. Second is being able to collect that valuable data, such as their first name or last name or location, and use that to understand how your chatbot is performing and ultimately how you can improve it. So there are a few Facebook ones here that I'll give you a quick walkthrough. First is first name. That would pull in the first name that your Facebook user has, and this similarly with last name. Now those are usually used for just general conversation. Next is the profile picture, which allows you to pull in the user's profile picture and will be most useful in something such as a photo-based chatbot. Next is location, which can be extremely useful if you have users all over the world and need to provide them with specific services based on that location. Next is a similar idea with time zone, which is a more high level version of location and ultimately gender, which can be very useful if you're selling products or some sort of medical or booking where different genders would need different information brought to them. Now adding them is extremely simple. As you can see, I've already added uh, the attribute pull first name here. Now to show you exactly how I'll remove that. And all you have to do is select attributes and first name. And that is always going to have the square brackets with the attribute and the equals and what it's pulling. And as you can, and once brought over to Facebook Messenger, your users will have that automatically pulled in. And it's the same way to add and to remove for all of these Facebook attributes. They're very easy and very effective, and you can put them in essentially wherever you need throughout the conversation. So that's it for that. If you have any questions as to using these different attributes, feel free to leave a question below in the comments. Thanks for watching and look forward to hearing from me and you again soon.